Every business has a unique wealth of knowledge waiting to be used. And if used correctly, this knowledge can transform any business. We'll show you where to find this knowledge, how it can benefit your business, and how to create a strategy to use knowledge in your business. The term knowledge management means taking a structured approach to collecting valuable information and using it to improve your business. Effective management allows you to share knowledge with everyone inside your business and even with other businesses. This can help to encourage innovative ways of working and establish a creative working environment. The first thing to do is to uncover the knowledge within your business. You'll find knowledge in the experience and skills of staff, not only from the job they are doing now, but also from previous jobs and even interests and hobbies. Another source of knowledge will be in your records and documents that covers things like sales and purchases, as are the methods you use to run your business and the design of a product or service. You can also find knowledge within any ideas you have for future business development. Because knowledge like this constantly grows and changes, you'll need to regularly collect and review it and make sure it's updated. And there are many ways to do this. A good method is to build a culture of knowledge sharing across your entire business. This means encouraging all members of staff to see the value of sharing knowledge so they'll come forward with important information. Knowledge could be shared between individuals or a team or project group members. It can also be shared across a department, function or the whole business. And by involving everyone, you boost morale and avoid the risk of losing knowledge if anyone leaves or is absent. This inclusive approach also allows staff to learn how to do things better, which improves their efficiency and productivity. Now you have to choose an effective way of sharing this knowledge to maximize its potential. There are many ways to do this. Regular meetings are common, but often a more relaxed environment like innovation workshops and brainstorming sessions can be successful. Encouraging staff to think more creatively can help your business become more innovative. What about an intranet which provides staff with secure communications over a computer network? And even an extranet which will include customers and suppliers? Then there's social software and networking to encourage the easy sharing of knowledge. And don't forget the importance of further training as a means to spread knowledge, skills and best practice across your business. It's good to create and share all this valuable knowledge, but you also need to protect it. First thing to do is to keep your business knowledge confidential. And this will involve your employment policies. Consider confidentiality agreements for all members of staff and even clauses in contracts to stop anyone leaving your business from immediately joining a competitor or setting up a rival business. You should also protect knowledge through intellectual property rights. This allows you to stop others from copying your ideas or even to license your knowledge and sell it for a profit. You can also help to protect your knowledge through efficient storage and recovery systems for all files and documents. This can be done with an organized filing system or digitally on a computer. An organized system will help you to take advantage of valuable knowledge. It's also a good idea to create a knowledge bank. This is a place to keep useful information and instructions on how to carry out key work tasks. And if you make this bank available via an intranet, it will encourage staff to send new information. Now let's look at the different types of knowledge that there are out there and how to make use of them to benefit your business. Market knowledge is essential to help you improve products and sales methods. You need to know how the industry you operate in is developing, what your competitors are doing, and if there are any new products or businesses out there. Identify trends and you can be the first to market. Always communicate with customers. Ask them what they need and what they think of your business. You could even use formal surveys. Customer knowledge could help you with customer service, 
getting better quality from suppliers and to uncover any future demand. It's also good for recruitment because you know who to hire to meet the needs of customers. Next is the business environment. It pays to be clued up in politics, the economy and society, developments in technology and changes within the law and to the environment. And what about information from professional associations and trade bodies to help you stay ahead of the competition? There are plenty of magazines, reports and papers offering all kinds of useful knowledge. For first-hand knowledge, you can attend trade exhibitions and conferences which are great for checking out the competition and catching the latest innovations. If you want to create innovative new products, then scientific and technical research and development is a vital source of knowledge and can help you keep your competitive edge. And don't forget the internet as a powerful source of knowledge, but make sure information is accurate before using it. By combining all this different information, you can form a knowledge base. By taking advantage of this knowledge base, you could maximize efficiency, reduce risks, and make the most of new opportunities. And this is known as a knowledge advantage. But you need a strategy to get the most out of all this knowledge. A knowledge strategy should guide the collection and sharing of knowledge within a business. To begin writing your strategy, you need to look at the way your business uses the knowledge it already has. Is it effective? Then consider how you collect and share this knowledge, how you generate ideas, and how you involve staff in day-to-day -day business. Remember, knowledge management needs to be a continuing process and central to your business plan. Your strategy will also need support from all your staff, including any senior management. And you could decide to appoint a senior manager or other member of staff as the leader of your strategy. This position is known as knowledge champion. You can also consider setting up a team to monitor and report on changes in the business world. This will help you to collect and maintain important knowledge. But with so much knowledge out there, is there anything to help you manage it? One way is to use information technology. You could use something as simple as a database to organize customer details, orders and needs. For lots of information in different formats, you may need to use a data warehouse which stores everything in one place. Another popular method for centrally storing and managing knowledge is digital asset management. This is great if you sell online, but often requires specialist technical advice. IT also provides useful tools for analyzing your knowledge. Data mining sorts information to find out patterns. This can help find things like your most popular product and customer preferences. Then there's reporting and querying tools that allow you to accurately interpret data like sales figures for individual members of staff. You can also use IT software and systems to help in the use of information. With customer relationship management software, you can use a database to profile and target customers. There are also systems to analyze customer communication and feedback. This can help you to spot trends, improve customer service, and develop or change products and services. And if you sell over the phone, a call center system gives you the chance to serve large numbers of customers. But what about customers online? Consider website analysis to see how customers use your website. The knowledge you gain could help you to improve their online experience. You will also find many helpful tools online. Take a look at business intelligence portals. These websites give you access to all sorts of potentially useful information, such as legal issues or details of new research. Don't forget, technology is not the only answer for sharing knowledge, and it often needs special skills and time to work properly. So only choose IT that improves your business and consider specialist help to set it up.
Knowledge sharing can help any business to develop, but it needs to be properly managed to be effective.